Well, hi there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's comic books, coffee, and more. Okay, before we begin, don't forget about that QR code right there. It'll take you to all my social media pages, YouTube, eBay, and Instagram. All righty, let's see who's on the agenda today. Ooh, will you look at that. Marvel Comics Group. Master of the Mystic Arts, Doctor Strange, co-starring the Savage Submariner. Oh, that can't be good. If you look real close, there's a date stamp on that book. This book is number 31. It was 35 cents back in 1978. Title of the story is A Death for Immortality. It's by Dan McGregor, Don McGregor, and T. Sutton. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Also, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button. Helps out the channel, helps me out, keeps us going here. And leave a comment if you don't mind. Let me know what you thought about this. If you want to hear it, if you want to hear other stuff, it's in my library. If it's in my library, I'll get it on for you. All right, let's get to it. In the middle of the stormy Atlantic, and the end of a magical flight. Here, the astral form of Doctor Strange hovers above the ocean vastness, his all-seeing amulet probing beneath the chill, uninviting waves. At last, I have reached the region of the fabled realm. How ironic, if I cannot find aid here, Stephen Strange may well become an object of fable himself, a death for immortality. Down, 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 sinks the astral mystics, descending deep into the turbulent waters. Finally, at the depth that would crush a human frame, he gives pause. His substanceless eyes, once more beholding the city he seeks, Atlantis. There swims the Atlantean guard. Would that they were mermaids come to welcome this wary traveler. But perhaps there is no longer any place on any world for sad-eyed sea maidens. Perhaps there is no place left where a stranger may be welcomed with the enthusiasm and without suspicion. Through the very walls of the towering spires wafts through strange astral self searching high and low until he finds the chamber royale where sits the most imposing figure ever to swim the seven seas. Prince Neymar, the Submariner. My liege, someone, something approaches that we cannot stop, cannot touch. Who dares intrude on the saint, the sand city of the Prince of Blood? Forgive me, my friend, but circumstances necessitated my arrival in this form. Strange? Fool, do you not recognize the only one, the one who aided Atlantis against the hordes of Atuma? Please, Neymar. There is no time for protocol. My very death is imminent, and you alone may be able to stay that end. You speak melodramatic gibberish, Dr. Searle. No mortal being could so threaten you. Ah, were that only so. You are familiar, Neymar, with the orb of Agramado, which resides within my sanctum. I bring before you now an image which that mystic globe revealed to me only a day ago. Do you recognize the weapon that warrior bears, Neymar? It is the sword of Kamu, whispers Neymar. Yes, Neymar, the same blade that changed the course of Atlantean history before it was lost in obscure subsea battle. I know not how long it was lost to living eyes. I know only that I, it came into the hands of a surface men some years ago and was passed from one power-lusting hand to another. This sword forged of arcane elements 
became a highly desired weapon for it offered great mystic power to those who knew how to employ it. And now it has fallen into the hands of the man whose image I project before you once he was but a minor mystic. Now he has the power to seize whole cities, nations, and worlds. That's the guy. Moreover, he has discovered that if he spills the blood of a sorcerer supreme with the sword, he will become as one eternal. So he intends to buy immortal immortality. But my death, already he launched, he launches his assault. I have called forth the rings of Raga of Ragador to protect my sanctum, as well as the city of Manhattan and the nation beyond. But his sword cuts through each barrier as if it were more mere gossamer. gossamer. I would face his challenge alone, but our battleground would not be just some other dimensional plane where naught may be harmed. Our mystic war would begin within the very heart of the city itself, and I dare not unleash my full magical might there. Look upon his visage, Namor. You can tell he is cruel man who has killed people casually. Soon he will be able to do so on a world scale. Understand me, I do not fear death, but if I should die at the man's hands, there will be no stopping his madness, and that I fear greatly. Maybe he needs some strong arms. You argue your case most persuasively, doctor. You should have been a diplomat. If my pleas are strong, it is because my need is urgent. Will you help me, Neymar? You are a man of honor, strange. You know the duties of the prince of realm. I cannot abandon my people at the whim of a late. Of late, I have realized that most dearly. Yes, but I also know that the sword of Camus is linked to the royal Atlantean bloodline. You are the only being on earth who stands a chance of withstanding its strange. What is it? He has reached New York, Neymar, breaching the next to last of my mystic barriers. I fear I have overextended my mental concentration in maintaining the rings of Ragador. Each slash of the sword rips at my psyche. Oh, no. Who is this man? His name would be meaningless to you. Pardon me. I should not be so curt. I must go at once to rejoin my physical self. Or, if you will not come, I farewell now more. My liege, he departs. He has, made, he has had his say. Leave me now. I have much to consider. It is barely past dawn when Greenwich Village's early risers take to the streets. They cannot see the tattered remains of Ragador's rings, but they can see the man who tore them as, as under. Will you get a load of that? Wonder what he's advertising. Hmm. Book him on what that sure a concealed weapon he's carrying. This place smells of the too many dogs befouling the sidewalks on air. The sorcerer could have chosen a cleaner place to live. And die. I bid entrance, Dr. Strange, for I am Alaric. He who shall rule all. No barrier can long withstand the sword of Camus, Strange. Nor shall you. Ooh, a side Spider-Man card. Come out and meet your death, strange. You cannot stay hidden from Alaric the mystic, soon to be Alaric the immortal. Well, what have we here? Away with the Alaric while Clea, li Clea lives. You shall not sully Stephen's body. Hmm, it would appear that the doctor has good taste in women. Right there. I'm surprised he has time for his magics. I am no mere plaything, Alaric. Well, enchantments from the enchantress. I am the disciple of Doctor Strange, and I'll not be trifled with. 
or trifled with. A pity. They'll do you no good. See how easily I hurl you f your Faltinian flames back to you? No ordinary sorceress can stop the bearer of this blade, and soon nothing will. And there she tumbles. But you've no need to fear me, my lovely. I just may find a place for you in my plans. There she is. Once the blood of your master graces my blade, I must say, strange, I did not expect to gain immortality so easily. It hardly seems fair to slay you while you lay there entranced. But then I was never a fair, fair man. Bah, I prattle on needlessly. Your death has arrived, strange. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And mine now ceases for all time. Uh-oh. Simultaneously, silver steel streaks downward toward its all too immortal mortal target as the spirit races to rejoin the flesh. He comes through. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 thunk. And in the space of an instant, the enchanted metal has missed its mark because he moved. So at last I meet the perfidious image who would deal in death or archive immortality or achieve immortality. Beware, Alaric. Stephen Strange is prepared to deny you your quest at the cost of both of our lives. All right. Strange Mail. Phew. This is a long book. Phew. Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead. Hurl your mightiest spells, Strange. None shall pass my blade. Tibero, make him speak true. Tibero, take him. He speaks true, the gem upon the sword's hilt. The eye of Z Zartra is an ancient and almost for forgotten sorcery. I cannot fight it on this plane. Yes, death is again near. I can feel the ink burning upon my brow. Well, strange, do you yield? Never! There is still one option left me. I must take my own life in the instant before he strikes. I have heard it said that you are a champion of life, sorcerer. It is only fitting that you shall make me immortal. Put down the sword in the name of Namar the first. He comes. The Vashanti he praised. You will not dishonor the sacred blade of Camus further. Take care, Namar. The sword bestows great physical might upon its bearer. There is no need to warn the amphibian image. He shall learn of Alok's strength firsthand. You dare so strike the Prince of Blood? I dare much, Submariner. Let us see if your sea spawn power will protect you from the blade of your own heritage. Alok, no! No, what's going to happen? Oh no, what's going to happen? Well, the mighty Submariner staggers. Look at him. Strange, for you shall be the next to fall. You will mimic his rain, his pain dance. And then Alaric, the immortal, will depart with your luscious woman. With one breath, you glory in another man's agony. And with the next, you lust for disciple. Truly, you are bereft of all honor. He is less than the lowest slugs of the sea. Even the Barracuda is more noble. But it is too late for him now. Pity him. He has sealed his fate with my blood. Does your friend always speak in such riddles? It is too late for you, fool. We shall see just who the fool is. And they fight. Yes, I can feel the ink fading already. My danger has passed. Curse me, for a novice I see it all now. Alaric, you must lay down the sword at once or be cursed for all time. Enough of your sanctimonious preachings. Your blood shall mix well with the Alatians. Ooh, baseball cards and cupcakes. And Twinkies, it looks like. I like it. And this time, no one will come to your rescue. This time I, I, what is going on? My strength is deserting me. Strange, what have you done? 
I have done nothing, Alaric, unless I am mistaken. You have brought this upon yourself. Am I correct, Namor? Yes, to slay a sorcerer might have given him life eternal, but in drawing the blood of the avenging son with the sword, he has fallen under the curse of Zartra. Across the dimensional plane soar the three returning now to reality from which they'd fallen. There they go. I knew not of this curse, Namor. The risk you took. Was it more than any risk you have ever taken before for me? Let the risks all now be ending. Let the blade fly to its air. And in Dysak's case, unbending shall the villain drift forever. Morning has come once again to Manhattan. And with its bright arrival, the threat of tyranny has fallen before the power of the friendship and of love. Thus it has been, thus ever shall it be. Strange and his girlfriend and Neymar meet the Dreamweaver and live a nightmare. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that reading. That was... Marvel Comics Group, Master of the Mystic Arts, Doctor Strange, co-starring the Savage Submariner. Once again, don't forget this book and others is available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books. Hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. Helps out the channel. And also, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this book. Okay, well, as Papa, Doctor Strange... And the Submariner always say, That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.